Okay, so I didn't record a proper intro for this video, so I'm doing that right now in the voiceover. Um, so today, as you see by the title, we are going to be painting on records. And I have zero experience in painting on records. I've watched a couple videos of people doing it, but I've never done it before. So this was my first time. This is going to come up in uh, two parts. So part one will come out today and part two will come out tomorrow, Saturday. So I'm not like following my actual schedule because it was, it just went longer than I thought it would. So uh, this one is a galaxy, like a dripping galaxy. And like I said, it was my first time, so I didn't really know what I was doing. I kind of just guessed. <laughs> but um, for the drips, I just used a cheap paint marker that I got from Walmart. And the actual records I just got from Frenchies or someplace like that and yeah I just painted the background with black so that I could have a base layer so that the paint would actually go on better and it would show up better so yeah hope you guys enjoy So you're going to see a cut right here. So I forgot to hit record while I was putting the first coat of uh, the galaxy. So I just used some blue paint, some purple paint, and some pink paint. And it didn't really work that well because the blue was just overtaking all of it. So you didn't miss much really. <laughs> And you can see I was I was having a little trouble covering where the red label was, but after I went in a couple times with some like uh, thick coats of paint, it did work. So I did end up putting a lot more pink and purple because it was just blue basically. So that's just what I'm doing here. It was pretty simple, I just kept going in with more blue and purple and pink, and when I was happy with it, I just stopped. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty simple.
So right here I'm just adding some finishing touches. As you can see I'm just putting some more blue to add a little bit more color. And to make it go faster I just blow dried it. And when you're painting multiple layers, blow drying will save your life. It is so helpful and I recommend having a blow dryer if you are going to be uh, painting multiple layers of anything. So right here I decided to add some stars so what I did is I put some white paint on this uh, I think it's called a fan brush add some water onto the brush and then dip it in the white and you just hit it against your finger or something hard and you just splatter it everywhere and if you are going to be painting on a record don't worry about getting extra paint on the outside you can just easily wipe it off well, I say easily, but it took me a little bit to actually wipe it off. Like some actual struggle to get it off. But it did eventually come off with some scraping of paper towel, wet paper towel. So, yeah. Okay, just finishing up getting all of that paint off, extra, uh, extra paint off, and I'm just going to go in around the drips again with the cheap paint from Walmart in a, like a pack of 10, and it was super cheap, but it still worked, and I'm just going in again because I did get some extra paint on the lines, I'm not perfect on that, and uh, all of my paint was cheap and it was like cheap <laughs> and the record I got from Frenchies so that was cheap as well. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this and you'll see the close up in a minute after I'm done this but if you did enjoy make sure to like and if you're new here subscribe comment down below if you like this and like I said there is a part two coming out tomorrow it's gonna be a donut record since it's circular and I hope you guys enjoyed see you all later